Right. Shalawam. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh Ba Shami Shai and double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. And, you know, I just want to speak about the uh, importance of the nation of Edom. All right. The seed of Edom, which we know to be the so-called white man today, the in the will and the purpose of the Most High unto eternity, the Edomites have an important role in that they are going to be the greatest example of the wrath of the Most High being brought down upon the wicked. All right, they're going to be the greatest of all examples, and they're, they're the example that the Most High is going to make out of the nation of Edom is going to resonate throughout eternity. All right, and it's going to be a, 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 a tale which strikes fear into the hearts of the nations, man. All right, as to the what the Most High can do to the wicked, as to the wrath of the Lord, man, after, as to the judgment of the Lord. Now, has there been examples or examples made? Yes, many, small and great. One such example is the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord made an example out of those cities. We can read about it in 2 Peter 2 and 6, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. So we have, to this day, we have Sodom and Gomorrah as an, as an example. But guess what? The, the Lord is going to uh, um, use the nation of Edom to be an even greater example uh, um, unto, the, unto men. All right. Because first and foremost, uh, America, which really represents Edom, all right, is going to be completely destroyed. That's 3,000 square miles, man. Right. The, when it comes to greatness, America is infinitely more greater than Sodom and Gomorrah were. Those city states, Sodom and Gomorrah were pretty much two city states in the ancient world. America is a whole. A giant country made up of cities, man. Three thousand square miles, and the Lord's gonna gonna reduce it to ashes. So let's get that in Jeremiah forty nine. So first of all, the Lord is gonna reduce um, the the greatest nation of Edom, their greatest enterprise, which is America, to ashes. All right, a great destruction, so great it's gonna shake shake the earth. The earth is gonna rock to and fro. This is Isaiah 49 and 7. It says, Thus, what am I talking about? It should be Jeremiah. All right. So, lucky I went to the wrong book. Correct myself. 49. Yeah. Jeremiah 49 and 7. Salakia. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. And that time is coming near. And when the Lord visit Esau, he going to make an example out of Esau, man. You Edomites, see how you Edomites, you like to get Jake up in the, in the judicial system and you throw the book at, at Jake and say, oh, you're making an exam, making an example out of you, young man. But when you get Edomites up in there, you don't make no example out of them Edomites for the same crimes. Well, guess what? The Mosai is going to make an example out of you. You, you going to receive the harshest judgment of all the nations, man. All right. The Lord's going to make an example out of you, man. Mothers are going to tell their children for billions of years to come tales of the Edomites, man, and put the children in fear of the, the wrath of the Heavenly Father, man. So for that, you know, thank you. All right, you're doing your job. You set, you're being wicked, you're being the devil, and then you're going to be made an example out of. All right, Jeremiah 49 and 9, it says, If grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bare 
I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. So you Edomites, man, nothing, you, you the, the judgment which you're going to receive is of the spirit, man. You see, you, you got things of the flesh, man. You got your military, you got your, your, um, your, your, your different sciences and whatnot. You got your money. But ultimately, all that is, is all serving to make you an even greater example. Because as great as you are as a people in terms of the money and the wealth and the power that you have amassed in these last days, it's just going to show the way the Most High is going to deal with you, how it, 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 it means nothing in, in the, against the power and the will and the might of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And that's going to put the nations in fear of your judgment, of the, of, of, of the Heavenly Father's judgment, of His wrath. Because the Lord's going to do you in, man. You Here it is, you got all this military might and these nuclear weapons and all this, that and the other, and you're still going to be brought down to dust. And you ain't going to be able to deliver yourself. It says, his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children and I will preserve them alive and let thy widows trust in me. Because you, you, the ones of these Edomites that survive the great judgment to come, that's not the end. They're going to go into slavery. All right. They're going to serve their punishments pursuant to um, Psalms 149, Revelations 13 and 9 uh, to 10. They're going to serve punishment. But then at the end of that punishment, as we're going to get in Obadiah 18, the Lord is going, to is going to finish the judgment on Esau. He's going to finish the wrath with complete annihilation of that seed. The Lord is going to root the entire seed of, of, of um, the wicked seed of Esau off the face of the earth, man. You're going to be that people that was here, but now you're not. And like I said, billions of years in the futures, you, you, the Elamites, the Ammonites, all the different, even the Hamites, Hamitic nations, all the different nations, man. They're going to have you as an example as why they should, they should stay, in, stay in line. Because nobody ain't gonna wanna be gonna want it to be done unto them as was done unto Esau. Because you're gonna get the full, the full American. Alright, you're gonna be made an example of, man. You the Lord's gonna set a precedent. It says, For thus, for thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Bozrah shall become a desolation. Now, Bozrah here represents the chief city of, of America. I mean, of Edom, which is America, spiritually. That Bozrah shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be a perpetual waste. Now, notice it said the cities thereof, because America has many cities. That shows you that Bozra represents the America, man. All right. Let's, let's look how many cities in America. Oh, by the way, the word N sample or example means one of a number of things as or a part of something taken to show the character of the whole. A pattern or model as of something to be Im imitated or avoided. <laughs> See, you, you, the Lord's going to make an example out of you Edomites that your behavior is to be avoided and your way is the way of sin. Your way is the way of rebellion. Scripture says, these are they which rebel against the light. That's you. You Edomites, you are the leaders of rebellion against the light. The serpent, the devil that the Bible speaks of. You are the man of sin. And as the scriptures say, if the wages of sin is death, so evidently you are also the man of death and death is going to consume your entire seed. All right, but let's look up. Um, CEs in America. There's 311 incorporated places in the United States with a population of at least 100,000. 
right? So there's over 311 cities in America. And guess what? All these cities are going to be turned to ashes, beginning with, with, with um, uh, the Empire State, New York and Washington, D.C. Going to be turned to ash. It's going to be made an example of. That's just one level of the example that the Lord is going to make. The destruction of the chief places of Edom. All right. It says they're going to be perpetual waste. Let's let's look up the word perpetual. Meaning a billion years from now, man, America's still going to be an example unto the universe. Because this this um this mankind is going to go <laughs> forget global global this mobile mankind all right the nations of men beginning with the nation of israel the sons of god is going to go universal man men are going to inhabit this entire universe all right under the under the rulership of of israel but even then on the on the on the home planet called earth there's going to be an there's going to be a place which is going to be an example of the wrath of the most high which is going to be America and it's going to be a perpetual waste. Let's get the, the word perpetual. Perpetual. Long duration, antiquity, futurity, forever, ever, everlasting, evermore, perpetual, old, ancient. Yeah, ancient, long time, forever, always, continuous existence. All right. This co continually, that place is going to be what? Waste. It's going to be a wasteland. It's not going to be inhabited. All right. It's going to be there as a reminder of the wrath of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. A place laid waste, ruin, waste, desolation. All right. That's what that's what's going to happen to America. And that ultimately that's what's going to happen to the people. The Edomites it says, I've heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen saying gather ye together and come against her and rise up to her to, to the battle and you see that happen right now the different nations are rising up against america beginning with what iran russia china all right even though them russians the edomites hey the scripture says if satan be divided against satan how can he stand it says for lo i will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men see as people are starting to wake up to the fact that the so-called white men is not who he says he is, man. He's a hypocrite. See, he he will have the whole world believe according to his um propaganda that he's a, a good, honest, fair individual that believes in love and peace and harmony when actually he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. And the only thing he really believes in is death, sin. That's what Esau believes in. Stealing, murdering, lying. That's what Esau believes in, man. The sword. All right. It says, um, thy terribleness have deceived thee. Yeah, America is the most terrible nation. The, the Edomites in general, they've developed their military to, to be the most formidable and terrible of all the nations that's ever existed this side of the flood. If you compare the if you was to bring the the ancient Greek or the ancient Roman or the ancient Persian and the ancient Babylonian armies and to put them up against the American army, they would be completely and utterly overthrown, man, just from the air alone. Because these uh, these nations they have the, uh, the, the the power to 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 bring fire down from from heaven. All right, so their terribleness have deceived them. And the pride of that, their heart, right? Because they believe in through their terribleness that they can go against the will and the word of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, which is insanity. And the rest for the rest of eternity, it shall be known as such. It shall be known as such, man. After the Lord judge Esau, it's gonna be known as insanity. Complete and utter insanity to even think for one second. That you could go against the spirit and the power and the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill. Yeah. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, 
I will bring thee down from thence, save the Lord. The Lord is going to bring these Edomites from flying up into the, the space and all kind of stuff. They're going to be brought low to the pits and then they're going to be exterminated, man. They're going to be removed. You're going to still have rats. You're going to still have pigs. All the different animals are going to be here, the different animals and plants. But the seed of Esau is going to be rooted out, man. It says also, Edom shall be a desolation. Every one that goeth by it shall be astonished. Right? The nations forever. Anyone that travels past the shores of America, man, or over America, are going to be astonished at the wrath and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? That was another end sample. This is going to be a greater end sample. And the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord. No man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. So, so that entire landmass of America, the United States of America, is going to simply be there as a physical example of the wrath of the Most High against the wicked, against the ungodly. It says, Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong, but I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her for who is like me and who will appoint me the time and who is that shepherd that will stand before me. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Edom and his purposes that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. And that's the so-called Jew, the Edomites, the Israeli state. They're going to draw America into this World War Three, And then the end of that World War Three will be the end of America, man. And the ushering in of the kingdom of heaven. But that's not going to be it. But guess this. It says the earth is moved at the noise of their fall. And the cry, at the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. So them, them, the, the Lord, the destruction that the Lord's going to bring on America is actually going to shake the earth. It says, Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings above Basra. That's Yahweh Shai and the holy angels with the chariots. Because like the Apostle Gabar always brings out, it's not just the nuclear missiles that's going to be blazing fire in America, but also the chariots of the Lord too. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. All right. And then guess what? Then we're going to grab up them Edomites and we're going to put them in the, the, the ones of the Esau that remain in the different parts of the earth. We're going to grab them up and put them in slavery. So 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 the scriptures may be fulfilled because the scriptures tell, tell you what Revelations 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Again, the scripture tells you that the saints are going to possess these nations and these heathens as slaves. Um, let's let's get that in our, our Psalms. Where is it? Psalm one forty nine. And we're gonna we're gonna have you eat them. You ain't just gonna be in slavery. Slavery, first of all, slavery is just servitude. It's being made to work. You're going to be more than slavery. You're going to be in punishment. You know what that means? You're going to be getting tortured. You're going to be getting messed up. Yeah? Because uh, slavery is just em employment, man. Yeah? You go to your job, it's slavery. Slavery just being the word slave is the same as saying a servant. All right? You're going to be more than just slavery. You're going to be in pu under punishment, man. Judgment. So you're gonna be getting hurt real bad. Right? You're gonna be you're gonna be getting hurt. Psalms 149 and, and um and five it says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds, that the high praise of the most high be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen, because we're gonna we're gonna take vengeance on all the heathen, including the Edomites. And punishments upon the people. So we're going to actually punish these nations, man. For the things that they have done. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. 
Now, if you put in king, king chains and fetters of iron on the nobles and the kings, how much more say the common man? So all these heathens and they they're going into slavery. The ones that survived the, the the initial wrath to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. So these Edomites, they're gonna go into punishment. So the Lord is gonna destroy the, the, the their foundations, destroy their their nations and their cities. Then we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them in slavery, so that they can uh, play their part in building back up the kingdom of heaven. But then guess what, man? The Lord ain't finished yet. The Lord is still going to, the Lord ain't going to say, okay, well, like with the other nations, with the other nations, man, they're going to, they're going to serve this, this slavery, their, their hardcore slavery, I should say, they're going to serve their punishment, but then we're going to ease up and they're just going to serve us in a normal fashion. We're not going to have them under punishment. They're just going to serve us, man, and be tributary. But guess what? Esau, man, <laughs> well, well, we're going to read it, man. Isaiah 14. And um, 16, it says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms? Right? You Edomites threatening up, threatening up the, the nations, man. Ruling the nations. <laughs> like man. These children, man. Ruling the nations in, um, in anger. It says, that made the See, they're going to come a time where they're going to be looking for mercy, man. It says that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the city thereof. You know, running around the world with your bombs and all that blowing up everywhere as you see fit. That opened not the house of his prisoners. Yeah, you never you never took your foot off the neck of the nations, man. You never gave gave the Israel nor the nations no ease, man. You just wanted to take it all, man. You know, you never wanted to have no mercy, man. Well, guess what? All the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory, everyone in his own house. See, ultimately, the day is going to come where these other nations, their debt is going to be paid in accordance to the word of the Most High. The scales of justice are going to be balanced and they're going to be allowed to have their, their own inheritances back and their own nations. And they're going to have their own kings and they're going to be in their own glory. Now, is their glory going to be as unto the glory of Israel? Well, hell to the nah. All right, but they're going to have their own glory. They're going to have palaces and things like that because they're going to have their own nations, man. But they're going to be tributary unto us and they're going to move, have to live under our rule and our servitude. It says all the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in glory, everyone in his own house. So they're going to get their own lands back. OK, and we're going to carve up the universe and they're going to get wherever they get so they can serve us. It says, but thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch. See, when these other nations are released out of punishment, you ain't going to be released. You on death row. Basically, you Edomites as a nation are going to be put on death row. Just like how you, you put all these jakes on death row and they got to serve 25 years after 25 years. You, you destroy them. Well, that's what's going to happen to you Edomites. You're going to go into slavery for a thousand years and then at the th end of the thousand years, when all these other nations are getting released out of punishment, you are going to be put to death. Every single last one of you. The, the entire seed. So you're not ever going to get to enjoy a, a, a single moment in the kingdom of heaven. Now, these other nations, in, in the time to come, they're going to get to enjoy being in the kingdom of heaven. They're going to get to enjoy the clean air, the fruit of the ground. You know, having wives and just living life, just like the animals are going to enjoy the, 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 the um, king. Even the animals are going to enjoy the kingdom of heaven. Right. But the, the chief of the people is obviously Israel. We're going to enjoy it more than anyone else. And rightfully so. All right. Because it, it is for our sakes. OK, but you you Edomites, you ain't going to be able you ain't you going straight from hardcore slavery and punishment into fire. And that's that's the, the going to be the end of your example. And the other nations are going to see it and they're going to fear. Not only are they going to praise the Most High for having mercy on them to not suffer the same fate of Edom, but they're going to fear the Most High, lest the, the, the fate of Edom be spoken against them, be prophesied against them. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with a sword, 
that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden on the feet. Yeah, when, when, when a, in the ancient world, when a guy got chopped to pieces on the battlefield, ain't nobody going to take their clothes and reuse them. Nah, they got put into the pit with their clothes. Well, you Edomites are like that abominable clothing, man. Blood stained, you're finished. You going you only need to be burned. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. You are not gonna have no form of glory. Your name is gonna be put into the dirt, and you're only gonna serve as an example unto the wicked. Alright. And let's finish off with that. Because we don't want to make this too long. But you Edomites, you know, your, your, that's the only thing. Your, your example is going to be become positive. Because your, the, the, the judgment the Lord is going to put on you is going to cause the nations to fear. So that's a positive thing at the end of the day. <laughs> okay? That's how you call turning an turning a upside down face the other way around. You're going to be made an example out of, man. All right, Obadiah 1. And 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. All right, so who's the one that's going to execute the judgment? The sons of the Most High. And the house of Esau for stubble, that's you Edomites. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord have spoken it. So you Edomites, man, your entire seed, right, is going to be removed from the earth. So let's let's take the checkpoint. Your nations are going to be obliterated, beginning with America and made an example out of for eternity. Then you're going to go into brutal, hardcore slavery for a thousand years. And then after that, you're going to be exterminated. And that is going to be the legacy of Edom. That is going to be your legacy left on, on in, in this universe. And like I said, it's, it's an example likened unto Sodom and Gomorrah, but even greater. All right. Hey, the seed of the wicked is going to be cut off, man. <laughs> You're going to be cut off, man. It's Psalms 37 and 28. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever because the Lord... Showing you that Jacob is that vessel of mercy. We would have been as Sodom and Gomorrah if the Lord had not left us a remnant. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai having the elect. If it wasn't for the Lord having the names of the elect written from the very beginning. Israel would have been as Sodom and Gomorrah. We would have been exterminated of the face of the earth. Hey, But the Lord loved Israel so he provided us a root. He provided us a root, man, a remnant of the seed to preserve the seed forever. Because through the elect, the nation of Israel is going to be preserved into an everlasting salvation. But you Edomites, you're going to be completely rooted out of the earth. It says, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off, man. So you Edomites are going to be cut off. And like I said, you're going to be made an example of. All right. The man of sin is going to be made an example of. The son of perdition, you're going to be made an example of. All right. The serpent, the dragon, that old dragon and Satan, you're going to be made an example out of, man. And like I said, man, mothers from 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 the beginning of the kingdom of heaven onto all eternity, you're going to tell their children. Fathers are going to tell their children of that nation, that wicked, ungodly nation that bore the full wrath of the most high for thinking they could come up against his will and his word. And where are they now? Gone. They suffered. They were punished. And then they were taken out, man. And they can, now they can't enjoy the mango, the lemon, and the lime. <laughs> Through. Tamam. All right. Ka halal yabashami yawashai. Shalom.